So can you, I mean, explain to me how infrared heating works? I, I mean, it's sort of all the terms in that I'm familiar with, infrared mm -hmm. and heating, but I don't yeah. know, this is completely new yeah. to me. They're extremely simple. Inside of each one of these is a heat map. There's a slightly different one between the panel and the glass. But in essence, it's a wire-based heat mat on that one. As soon as you pass electricity through it, it creates the infrared heat, and that just literally comes out the front of the, right. the heater itself. And we do these in a range of different sizes and wattages as well. So we start from a 400 watt, which is a square ceiling tile panel. Um, we go up to the 800, then we've got the 1000 watt uh, picture there, right. and then we do a 1500 watt as well. Wow. So we can mix and match the panels depending on the room, room size and where they're going. So these can actually be put on the ceiling. So if we don't want them on the walls, we can actually mount them to the ceiling, and they're right. actually more efficient by doing that as well. Because the infrared comes straight down and it heats the furniture, the person, and the fabric of the building as well. Uh, so even when we put them on a normal ceiling height, which is about 2.4 meters, the floor actually starts to warm as well. Wow. So we see a good few degrees changes in, in the flooring. So the carpets or the tiles aren't cold. They actually absorb the heat as well. Right. And infrared works by bouncing off the energy until it can be absorbed by something. So nothing is wasted. Everything is, is put somewhere eventually and used.